Greetings. Pastor Dan Lepley, author of On Our Origin, standing outside of beautiful Redeemer Lutheran Church here in Seymour, Indiana. Many people have asked me, why did you take the time to write your book? One interesting feature of our church that will help me illustrate for you why I wrote On Our Origins is our bell tower, which you see behind me. We are going to take a trip inside the bell tower so you can see what makes our bell tower so unique. Join me as we venture deep into the bowels of the bell tower. If you thought that that little ladder was enough to get us to where we need to go to discover the mystery of Redeemer's bell tower, you were sadly mistaken because as you can see, we have another ladder that we will be climbing to figure out what it is that makes Redeemer Lutheran Church's bell tower so unique. As you can see, I have climbed the ladder myself as our cameraman did not feel inclined to climb that second ladder. And we also were intelligent enough to pick up the first 100 degree day this summer to climb the bell tower. But now that we are here at the top of the bell tower, I want you to tell me what's missing in Redeemer's bell tower. It has no bells. Is it ironic or is it fitting that Redeemer's bell tower has no bells? Some would say that it's ironic. I, for my part, would say that it is almost fitting because the church right now, much institutionalized religion fails to engage young people with the truths that we hold as dear. These here are pictures of Redeemer's confirmation class. Dozens of young people who were brought up in the church, who stood up before the people of God and made a confession of faith that they would rather die than turn away from it. And yet most of them are not in church anymore. And this is an unusual, this is the reality of the church in America. A recent study by the Pew Foundation, Religion Among the Millennials, found that 71% of people under the age of 30 are certain that God exists. Even two-thirds believe that the Bible is God's word. And yet only a third. About half of those who believe the Bible is God's Word are attending religious services regularly. What does this mean? Well, for me, it means that we as church should do better at engaging young people where they are. This is why Our Origins was written. That was just a book. We have a website, a blog. We're going to begin filling our YouTube channel with many videos to engage young people where they are, Christian or not, with a reasonable case for faith, in hopes that everyone would find their self in the middle of the story of God's love for his people, the love of a creator for his creation, and see how all these things come together in Jesus Christ. I hope you have a wonderful day.